Hey, what's happening, guys? That's beautiful today. It's Sunday. Uh, I had the weekend off, which was awesome. I don't get that too often. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to talk a little bit about this medical marijuana. Um, Tommy Chung, who is an American-Canadian actor, director, activist also for marijuana, um, who is actually a pretty good candidate for the medical marijuana. He's been, he talks about it nonstop. He travels all over the country and uh, he endorses it. So, Tommy, uh, let's see, Tommy, he actually had, at first he had prostate cancer. And I believe it was in 2015, um, he is whenever he got prostate cancer. And so he was using uh, cannabis as part of curing the cancer. 2016, he no longer had cancer. Um, but now, <clears throat> here we are, 2018, I can't exactly tell you when he got this cancer again. He got uh, the, the rectal, rectal cancer. Um, so, he had <clears throat> surgery. Let me see here. I have something written down about it so I could remember. He had surgery um, to remove the tum tumor that he had for the cancer, I guess. And along with, uh, he had chemotherapy and radiation therapy to lessen the cancer from growing, I guess. But he also was using cannabis. Um, cannabis therapy, basically. And he used a high CBD slash low THC oil um, which he injected into his hips um, for like pain and things like that um, you know the crazy thing guys is almost 600,000 people are dying every year from cancer and what really gets me it bothers me that they're trying to collect all this money for, you know, to come up with a cure for cancer. But they never do. Ever since I was a child, that's all I ever heard was finding a cure for cancer. And every day you're hearing in, about more and more people having cancer. You know, it's, it's rather bizarre. I, I personally, now this is my personal opinion on how I see it you have these uh, pharmaceutical companies that are um, putting these different chemicals and stuff into medications for people to take and claiming that oh it does this for you and but yet there's there's a list from here to the end of the tree line down there of other uh, uh, side effects or things that it may affect in your body and I personally think it's the, the medicines and the food that we're eating today. And I think a lot of that is causing cancer. They, of course, don't want, they don't want a cure. Are you kidding me? You have a per small percentage of people that come out of it 100% cancer free. But you have an extremely high percentage of people that are dying from cancer every year. Almost a million people a year. That's a lot. What is causing it? Okay. One, yeah, it could be hereditary. Okay, but you're someone that has a family that doesn't have a history of cancer, but yet you end up with cancer. Um, yeah, sorry, I can't... I can't remember what medication it was just recently that they want it banned because there are there's a chemical in this medication that can cause cancer. What are they doing to the people? 
Do they even care? The people that are making these medications, they know what they're putting in these medications, and they also know what it what it's going to do to them. It it blows my mind. You know, just like like I explained to my wife, I take certain medications that may take care of what it's for. Okay? But it may also be causing creating problems down the road. And you're not seeing it. You don't see what's coming, maybe, right? Um, so now medical uh, cannabis has taken our nation by storm. They're making it uh, recreational in, in some states, but in most states they're all starting to jump on board with the medic medical cannabis. Um, there's so many benefits to this thing. Now listen, I've done a little bit of research and uh, it doesn't exactly mention cannabis in the Bible, but marijuana, one, is a flower. And if God has created everything, then God created the marijuana plant, the flower. Every good seed planted, as he said, is for the good, whether it be for uh, medicine or happiness. And you find a lot of that in Genesis. You find it in Revelation. Um, yeah, it's there. So how is a marijuana plant planted? You got to use seeds. Those seeds were... Um, this stuff has been being used back in the 1800s. Cannabis was being used in the 1800s for chronic pain. Doctors were prescribing it to the people that had chronic pains. And then our government decides, you know what? Yeah, there's just too much, too many good benefits to this thing. We're going to make some money from this. We're going to make it illegal because there's THC in it. THC is what makes you high. The CBD oils is what helps people with pain. It helps them to be able to do certain things that they haven't been able to do for years. But some people need the THC, okay? You need that because the CBD oils isn't enough. I know if I was somebody that was suffering from, if I was suffering from seizures, or I had chronic pains all through my body, if I had Parkinson's disease, if that was going to help stop me from shaking so much, you're, you're darn right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use it. They have never found in the history of marijuana anybody ever overdosing on marijuana. It's just not there. There are no side effects to it. Now, I push this because I have a friend that I've seen what it's done for him. And it's amazing. It's amazing. You know, cannabis is, is good for HIV, AIDS, okay? Uh, they eat better, they slept better, and they were in a better mood. Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's gain weight, it lessens the, the agitated behaviors, believe it or not. Arthritis, you have less pain and you sleep better. When you have pain, you can't sleep. Asthma, it could dilate your airways. It could dilate your airways. Cancer could kill certain cancer cells, stop the growth of cancer, improve the impact of radiation of cancer cells, and prevents nausea. And it works with chemotherapy treatment. Now, back to Tommy Chung. Tommy Chong. We all, of course, know him as, you know, Cheech and Chong. It's to my understanding, the man is 77 years old. He's been using uh, cannabis every single day. And he says he uses a lot of it. And he has not had any growth of cancer or nothing in his body. He has good days and bad days like everybody, but it's doing something, okay? It's doing something to the cancer cells. It is working, okay? Uh, we just lost uh, Dog, the bounty hunter, lost his wife from cancer. 
and towards the end I guess she was using cannabis as well but you know not saying that cannabis is a cure not saying that at all but people seem to believe that it is helping them and it seems to be lessening the growth of the cancer cells it's also good for chronic pain it was used in the 1800s for pain relief okay Crohn's disease it helps weight gain and diarrhea I guess if you got Crohn's disease you got the runs all the time I guess I don't know but it's supposed to help with all that epilepsy 50 percent reduction with seizures that's amazing that is amazing epilepsy 50 percent oh I just said that yeah never mind getting a little distracted here somebody had pulled in um, glycoma THC's impact of the optic nerve it lowers eye pressure and it could lower blood pressure and it helps preserve the nerves that's pretty freaking amazing y'all and then we have multiple sclerosis muscle spasms pain tremors and stiffness the downside to using it with multiple sclerosis is it could impair your memory so all in all guys all I'm saying is this cannabis medical cannabis has been taken in America by storm I I actually uh, I'm all for it if it's to get on something that's a little bit more um, well it's 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 natural it's a natural plant and I would much rather take something natural than to be taking something that these men and women are pumping these chemicals making these pills to put into your body the same with when you eat your meats at the grocery market don't buy your meats from a supermarket okay because a lot of those meats are injected with chemicals you want to go to where you have a local butcher one that is not using those injected chemicals for in your meats those things are important man read up on that stuff that stuff will definitely in my opinion will have an effect on you down the road so that's my take on medical cannabis now I'm not sure if uh, got a gentleman here that he's using one canopy over there I don't know if I'm like if there's gonna be using this one as well or what but um, anyhow guys it's a beautiful day today I'm outdoors um, I just absolutely love this I mean a nice relaxing day today for me uh, I got a big week coming up ahead of me uh, the wife and I uh, right now we we have found a house and it's in the the final stages of us getting the house we were told that everything's looking great we've already been approved for everything we're waiting on the title that's what we're waiting on and we're going to be making that move here hopefully within the next month or so so <clears throat> we're excited about that we've already started packing some of our stuff and uh, I'm gonna have a whole new new uh, little YouTube background here coming so um, that's pretty much all I got until next time guys uh, keep it real yeah keep it real get outside man I don't know where you live but if it's anything like this you need to get outdoors and enjoy this I'll talk to you in the next video peace